Yeah. Hey. 
I get to play the loser of them, which is uh, probably going to be Apollo. Which is unfortunate because Apollo fucks me up real bad. So <laughs> I'd rather play Smokey Blunts. Really? Yeah. I've only played him once though, so it could go. be a fluke. What? How'd it go? I won. Oh no, I played him twice. You I won the second time. You beat Smokey? Yeah. Damn. Uh, I think. The next match is the winner of this versus uh, Jason. No, that's normally after both losers' quarters. And the bracket of, uh, yeah. Winner. Oh, oh, yeah, like, what, yeah, that'll be winner's finals is whoever wins this versus Jason. Yep. And Jason normally... Jason usually wins. I know Jason normally beats Apollo, but I don't think I've seen him play Smokey Blunts. Like, personally, I, they probably have played, because... They, they have to, because Smokey, you know, usually places fairly well, and J yeah. Jason usually wins most of the time. Yeah. I don't know. I don't, when was the last time Smokey was at one of the weeklies? Because I know he was at... It's like, well, like dude, I've been going like the past couple weeks. He's been here fairly commonly. Oh, really? Because I must have been missing missing the brackets because I haven't been here in a while, unfortunately. Yep. I used to come every week. Uh, but yeah, Jason started coming free, uh, like recently, which is super cool. Yeah, he's, I, I've you know, I've been coming pretty frequently the last like, two months. So yeah. he, he, he's you know, here like every week. Yeah, he's, he hasn't missed one in a while. Which is awesome. Finally, someone from the city's like, yeah. actually coming here. Cause is this city guy? Uh, yeah. I don't know which borough, but city. <laughs> I mean, I don't think I count him from the Bronx. It's like a 15 Bronx is the city. It's a 15-minute train ride. Lucky you. There is nobody. <laughs> no, I used to live like northern Westchester, so oh, it used, used to be like 50 minutes. Yeah. Now, now living close is much better. Yeah, I'm 45 minutes away. I'm Where across the Tab and Z. Yeah, Rockland. Yeah. yeah. I'm the third best player in Rockland behind. Two top 100 player puffs. Who so, are the two puffs? Uh, two Saint and 42nd. They're both in Rockland? Yeah. I don't know that. Well, and then there's, uh, what's his face? Uh, the other Falco is good. I always see two Saint in, like, Jersey. Uh, can I play Redemption Bracket? I'm totally down. <laughs> but, you know, they're both from there. They don't really go to much locally, though. Are there stu is there locals in Rockland? No. no there are there, so there's been locals, like, once. Like, every, like, two years someone tries and they... It doesn't work. Yeah, it doesn't work at all. That's sad. That'd be good for me. Like I'm like, I'm like ten minutes from the Tavern Z. Oh really? Yeah, like I'm I'm close to Rockland. So if I um, so if like, Rockland had a local, I'd totally go. <laughs> you know, hopefully I'm moving to the city soon, so this will be closer. Yeah. But we'll see, we'll see how that happens. I've been to a uh, Hax's new local. It's pretty sick. It is. It's cool. The uh, the, they got um, they got dual monitor setup, so like each person playing has their own yeah. monitor. Like you know, I, this place has that for uh, ultimate scenes. Yeah, like that that kind of setup is pretty cool. They um, people are kind of a little iffy on the monitors, but they got some like you know Uncle Punch. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, like, he's been working on everything, right? Yeah, like they um, what's really cool oh. is they have a uh, Sheik name tags. Like they modded it so you don't like expose yourself when using up B, so Sheik can use name tags again. That's cool. I was surprised. Apollo just went for an edge guard and like didn't up air when it seemed like it would have worked. Yeah. I don't think he would have died, so it's a little, a little weird. Maybe he thought he was going to trade with the Firefox, then not risk it. Maybe. I don't yeah. know, the trade with the Firefox might even be better, because uh, then he wouldn't have lag. Well, if he gets... But he was at a high percent, he was going to get shot. And if he got shot, like... I mean, if he went like onto stage, it would have been fine, but if he got sa sent... Uh, if he got sent to the left, it would have hurt. Or I guess down? I think from the way he... No, nah, from the way he was, it would have always sent uh, towards the stage. Because yeah. when you trade, it's like... Almost always, you go in the direction you came from. He should have been going for it anyway, he's down a stock. Yeah. Maybe it was a tech club. That smash was pretty sick. Because that was a DI mix up. And yeah. it just killed him. <laughs> Rip Falcon. It's a hard knock life. <laughs> I don't know. Shot him. I'm a true Falcon hater. I think he's broken. You hate Falcon? Yeah. Who hates Falcon? Because, well, he's hella lame and I don't know the matchup. So uh, it's a double whammy. Alright, fair enough. <laughs> it's very, <laughs> very silly reasons. <laughs> oh, that was. It's, no. I think he could have shined instead of the back air, but I don't know. Because the back air. The only way to kill it was hard. Oh, damn, nice thing. The, uh, is shine back air consistent? Uh, for for Fox, no. You have to, you have to like, I, I know it's, in. It's like, oh, they have the shine. If they get hit by the bear. Huh. Uh, I thought it was just a really tight tight frame uh, window. Yeah, they say open in. Yeah. But like, so it's like also a mix up because uh, You're, yeah, if you just go for the bear normally, you do survival the eye, yeah. and then you'll get hit by the shine bear. Yeah. 
Hey. So it's 3 0. How much farther did you get hit by the Shine Bear then? Uh, it's, not, it's not like much farther, but yeah. it looks it's, just, cool. it's just more percent. So. It looks a lot cooler, too. <laughs> the, um, oh, next is the other side of Lucius Quarters. Scrub versus Eric Reeds. Yeah. I've, I've seen him like on the, what's it called? Like the, the celebration posts where you yeah. get like your, your tag and uh, character icon, but I've never actually seen him until today. Scrub? No, uh, Eric, Reeds. Uh, Eric Reeds, yeah. I the per I, uh, I played a lot of friendlies with the person he came, or maybe I'm thinking of somebody else. No, I haven't played him, you're right. I yeah. thought he was JJM at first, huh. but he's not. Uh, do you know who JJM is? Uh, I think so. Very tall Ice Climbers player. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So I, I, I saw Wait. I saw someone a very tall. Is he the guy that streams? No. That's a different Tri-State Ice Climbers player. Is what? What's up? Yeah, yeah, he's from uh, Jersey. Yeah. Like, so he normally come. He's like come here for like the bigger Smash Out tournaments. Yeah, like the two or three. I wasn't really here for him, but yeah. I hear that like a bunch of people showed up. I've seen mm -hmm. some of the mods. The um, I want to get out to Spectrum. How far into Jersey is it? Very. <laughs> I think it's very. It's like mid Jersey. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have a car anymore, so that's kind of. Then that's kinda an rough. L. Yeah. I did get to um, the the one that's in uh, the northern one that's in uh, a comic book shop. Well, like I don't even game know. Play. I the decent amount of people showed up. Like two Saint was there. Um, I uh, I lost to J Flex round one. Oh damn! I, I played friendlies with him, not knowing who he was, and then I had to play him round one bracket. I was seated the, like last. last. Yeah. yeah, that's funny. Yeah. Hey, okay, so this is one of my favorite matchups because I've played a a very good Long Island Sheik by the name of Doctor Lobster for about oh. four years. Oh, you're one of the um. What, damn it! You're one of the Stony Brook guys. Yeah, yeah. I'm good friends with Tian. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, that's yeah. sick. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um. Then I was I played somebody else at um Hax's nightclub that was a really good fox. I want to say, and he's fox. like, yeah, I play against Sheik a lot because the um I play against Sheik a lot because I get destroyed by Doctor Lobster. <laughs> I wonder which fox it is because like was, the the people I remember going from Stony Brook was a Marth and a uh well, it was two Marths. Really? And it might have been. A, I'll, I can show you. I have it up. Hey, yeah, sure. The um. Yeah, everyone's a Stony Brook guy. Like yeah. all the people I talk it's to, it's actually insane. The yeah. amount of people who play melee Stony Brook still, is pretty crazy. Cause my year was like the last year where a hell of amount of people came, but people just kept coming every year. Also, Scrub is kind of getting destroyed by Eric Reeds. Lana Del Cray. Oh, Lana Del Cray. Oh, he's a Peach player, but he's been. He is a Peach player. Yeah. Never mind. Yeah. Uh, I got destroyed very badly. It didn't really <laughs> matter what character. I don't even remember what who it was. He plays Fox more than Peach now, but he's a Peach player. Yeah. Hey, that was kind of gross. Jesus, I I looked away and he got four stop. <laughs> I wish the um, I I feel like my punish game in this matchup. I play Sheik for the the guy, my, my one friend in chat watching. What's up? What's up, Smitty? Um, but the I feel like my uh my problem in the matchup is neutral because my punish game is good enough. Yeah. Like I'll like a couple openings I'll get a kill. My tech chasing is I don't know mediocre. Well, it's, it's me tech chasing Falcon in particular is extremely difficult because his yeah. tech rolls hella long. I, I've had like periods where if I'm like focused and I'm like practicing it, I'll have like two grabs for a kill. Yeah. But like it's not that hasn't happened. Oh, that bear was kind of sick. But you know. he didn't get all. Like he got streaked to the ledge. But getting, uh, you really can't get hit by that up B if you're playing it as a spacey. At oh, least, like from recovery. Yeah, like yeah, if you're yeah. getting hit by if you're getting hit by the poof with streaks up B, you're not. You got you got to you got to stay out of the range of that as a sheik player. It um, if I time it correctly, I can hit you again and just start a combo from that. And it's a lot of percent anyway, even if I don't convert off of it. Seems like Scrub's kind of getting hit by all like the, uh, the um, like the random, like soft arrows or whatever. Yep. Or sorry, soft tilts that will lead to fair. He's like DIing all of them in, like on like whiffs or whatever. Yeah, yeah, I just kind of screwing him here. But the um, it's hard to remember that. I think he should have just down tilted, because that would have killed. But oh yeah, that kills a light. Yeah, down tilt uh, versus hundred. Yeah, if you DI it well enough, it won't kill. But a lot of times, even if you DI it, it'll kill pretty early. I think it depends on where you're on the stage. If you're if you're like uh, if you're on the right side and you get DI uh, you get detilted right, it's gonna kill earlier because yeah. you don't have as much room to DI. But like mid stage, you know, 120. No, especially on the stage because she has nowhere to go. Yeah. Like with the cover, you should always have to land in front of you or to ledge. But you can always do like a certain timing to always cover ledge. I that was a good recovery. Yeah. Recovery. I mean, sorry, uh, yeah, edge guard. It was a good call out. The um, yeah. I never seem to grasp. Like I can really just yep. handling low Firefox and like jumping in is fine. If you're on ledge and they're below yeah, that's you, that's super easy. That's that's you know it's flowchart. There's nothing yeah. you can't really. If you screw that up, it's your own fault. But the um, I've been really struggling with Falcos and Foxes going straight into me. 
Yeah, I mean, because it's kind of hard to react to, so you kind of have to expect it. No, like, I, even if expecting it, like, I tried to F-tilt it. Like, it's not a good option. I talked oh. to Smoke, and he's like, you have to, um... You can do, like, one of your super long aerials. Like No, so he was like, dude, jump back forward air. Because Nair's going to trade, back air is going to... Actually, you might be able to beat it with back air, but you're usually not turned around. Well, if, you, if you're on the stage, you can a lot of times crouch under it and then dash attack, or just shield it and then wave dash out punish. You can crouch under it? You might, like, depending on how high. Yeah, but they're always, like, level to the stage, because the, the mix-up is, um, you want to be able to side beat a ledge and Firefox above. Yeah, but, uh, I don't know. Because if they're that, if they're, like, equal with the ledge, you can needle, like, on reaction to Firefox. Oh, shit. Because needle is, I don't know, needle will beat Firefox, I think, 100% of the time. Yeah, it always, I didn't even think. Even if that. there's a hitbox out. I didn't even think about that. Because with the needle, then they go underneath the stage, and it's much easier. It's like kind of the same as Falco Laser. Yeah, you want to get them under the stage when you yeah. projectiles. Yeah. Um, I remember uh, reading something about um, Peach's turnips in uh, Firefox, and the um, and uh, like nine times out of ten, the the turnable just bounce off the yes. Firefox. But if you hit the right random hitbox, you know, <laughs> turnable just beat Firefox. And it's not a good mix-up to go for because Peach can trade and beat Firefox most of the time. But the um. That's like the PJ Hail Mary if you've got nothing left. Yeah, like, see, he just charged needles and threw them at the ledge. Yeah. Or like because that covered, I covered ledge, and then even after he threw the needles, he'd be he'd be actionable quick enough to still it was a, hit his recovery. It was a full stack though, so if he went up, he might have been able to avoid it. I mean, like the Sheik would have been out of throwing lag in enough time to punish it still, but it seemed to be a better option than going down into it. I guess you could fake uh, needles because you could just charge him and not throw yeah. and force him to go up. That's a whole other mix up. He just waited too long on this. Like, he waited for like a super late aerial, yep. but uh, he was at a hit some by the time he went for it. Can Falco cover all four options on the platform? Yes. Do you have to just be in like, yeah, there you go. Well, like with down smash on the shorter platforms, because yep. the Yoshi platforms are kind of long. On the shorter really? platforms, you can. Yeah, they're longer. Because uh, they like go sh entirely to the ledge where most platforms won't from like the same distance away. Well, like actual size of the platform or proportion the platform to the stage? The platform is longer. The platform is longer. Yeah. What's the smallest one? Fountain? I don't, I don't remember. I can't. Off the top of my head, I can't tell. But if I look at them, I can tell. Right. You know what I mean? Uh, but yeah, so on this stage, it might not. But you can still just not down smash and recover. You can react to every tech option pretty easily because you don't have to worry about tech roll length because you have like the platforms. Yes. So it, like, it'll restrict their length, their tech roll. But why would you... Um, I mean, like, except for, like, stylistic, like, you're trying to play optimally, why would you not just want to cover all four? Because I guess I guess if they're going in towards stage and I'm not high enough percent, you'd want to be able to cover it. But what would you do then? F smash? Uh, up tilt. Up or tilt. shine. Yeah, co combo star. Or just, like, yeah, or just, like, you can do damage cancel there. Because a lot of times, down smash won't kill, like, most characters until... Fairly high percent. This so. dare edge cancel dare combo. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> uh, like I mean, depending on like yeah, depending on so. how it works. So, like dare edge cancel dare will beat slide off, but uh, like if they like if they're like not they tech back in. If they're not yeah, if they like SDI down or like in to the platform, they can yep. tech on the platform and it won't work. But yeah, again, he just keeps getting hit out of combos. But at least he's winning this game. I noticed that the main combo break hang Eric is using is uh. Is back air, yeah, which is so funny. I thought Nair came out faster. Nair does come out faster, and I just think it's probably a better thing to do. But he's just doing bear for whatever reason. Bear would probably start a combo better. Like if, if it does hit and he's at a high enough percent, you won't really be able to follow up out of a, a Nair because you get hit too hard and you're already falling. Yeah, but, but back air is softer, so they're closer. Things as Falco, if someone Nairs out of your combo, you're in a really bad spot because you'll most likely go off stage yeah. unless you're holding down at a low percent. Then you you won't. But still. Like, getting Nair out of combo since Nair is so strong, it's, it's very dangerous. Randall. Yeah, you're right. He's rolling a lot. Hey, he's probably going to, like, look for uh, just a grab in the corner. Ooh. Yeah, okay. That was really weird. Uh, he, he got hit by Randall twice that stock. Yeah. I mean, it happens. But he still has two games in whatever stage he wants to go out to. I think this is an overrated counter pick by Sheik. Where do, right, Falco. So if you're a Sheik, where do you take Falco? Uh... Battlefield, <laughs> but he won on Battlefield already, so yeah. then it just becomes uh, preference. Yeah, personal, well, personal all preference. The, most of the Sheiks like Battlefield in this matchup, but you only get it once. You know, it's yeah. more about the uh, the second and third, I guess, if you get that. Far. It also doesn't even it doesn't hurt to uh, to ask your opponent if they want to go back. A lot of puff players do that. I do, but none of the uh, no Falco wants to go back to Battlefield. Yeah, the Legends. Yeah, which is sad because I'd love to just play Battlefield. <laughs> nice. 
Bless you. Bless you. Uh, yeah, no, this stage, I think it's very good for Falco. Like, a lot of Sheiks do like it, but the platform, the way the platforms work just benefit Falco way too much to... You're, you're definitely right, but the, um, the equivalent is going to Yo Pokemon, I guess? I think I wouldn't go to Yoshi's. Well, no, Pokemon's not the ba the best, but like Dreamland, unless you want on Dreamland, I don't exactly remember. But I I, I kind of like Dreamland, but you know the uh, I'm more thinking in terms of two out of three. The, I don't know. Two out of three, I feel like a lot of uh, I don't know. I like she will probably go here, but they I think a lot of she's go here because it's the like the, what's the considered counterpick. the counter pick, but I don't I don't know. I think a lot of Falcos. I started to realize that this stage is kind of broken for them because the, I don't know the side platforms are just so whack for Fal like they're just so good because Dare pokes through them you'll get you get safe pressure when you shouldn't. The problem with going to Dreamland is you'll face like a Campy Falco every once in a while that has like very good neutral and you can't really get in because there's too much yeah. space for them to work with. Well, that's and like a style thing that you like kind of have to pick up on during the set where well, yeah, but, but, like, ga but game one you don't want to end up yeah, getting yeah. there. Which is bad because I'd like Dreamland against like an aggro, uh, an aggro spacey, mm -hmm. but it's not good against campy ones. Well, I feel like game one in this matchup normally ends up going here or battlefield. So, oh, nice. I. I don't that, know. That's like, so that in that situation it was guaranteed, but if you get bad thrown and you you can SCI the lasers to get out of it, but you know it's pretty hard. Yep. You know it's not something a lot of people think of because back throw is so is like used very rarely. So. Falco back throw. Yeah. Yeah, it's not, it's not very often. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I was like, misunderstood. Just like, really? Have you, have you played a cheek lately? Yeah, they seem to like throwing uh, Falcos off stage. Something I want to see uh, Eric Rizu like a lot more against Falco. He's like only rolling when he can do uh, wave dash to shield, nair to shield. Uh, nair to shield. Yeah. Because nair to shield is as fast as Falco shiner shield, so it. It's it's an extremely fast option that covers a lot of space. Yeah. So at like the mid percents where Falco can't crouch cancel it anymore, I've, it's very good. I've seen him go for it a couple times and get grab at a shield because the uh, the inputs for nair to shield and grab are yeah, like they're the same, but they're they're very similar. I do that a lot. Like I'm trying to nair to shield, they'll grab, and like I'm not sure because I've seen him do nair to shield maybe once or twice, not a lot. But the um he might just be a shield grabber. But the uh the thing is, it's like it's one of the things that are so important that. If a Falco recognizes that you don't nair shield, you're gonna, you're kind of gonna get messed up a bunch. Because yeah. you can. It's your only response to their shield pressure that like actually works. And, like, yeah, it's like it's not really a guessing game. It's like no. most of the time. It's a tech. You, you can recognize that nair shield will work. Yeah. But if they're not nairing at a shield. You can just keep you can the just shield do pressure like, and fuck them up. You can do like them. Falco's wacky shield pressure that isn't real. Yep. It's kind of weird, but it's the same tech check that uh, Sheik's will shield grab. You know, like what just happened. Yeah. Yeah, like if Falco, well, if Falco screws up techs, the Sheik wants to have a shield grab there if they're like not a very technical and they're gonna screw up inputs. Yeah. But the um, it's the same equivalent. If a Sheik's not narrowing at a shield, the Falco can just continue doing shield press for safely. Mm -hmm. This does not look good for Eric Reeds. Yeah. It's very interesting after like the game one and game two that were kind of like so decisive. Yeah. But uh. Nice. I mean, he should grab blade. That's something he hasn't really been doing too too much. He, he was too high there. Like he, he got sent very high on that one. So he could if if uh Ferrick went down to grab ledge, he just he would just side beat high and survive. Yeah. You can't, really cover, you can't cover that high. I don't know. I think. I just think that grabbing ledge is like a very safe option that covers so much. You're not gonna get hit if you grab ledge, but you're also. And the thing is, is that Scrub is repeatedly going to ledge, so grabbing it just to make it so he has to actually like start mixing it up, thinking about it. Yeah, that's a better point. You gotta, you gotta assume people won't adapt until they do. Yeah, yeah, definitely. That's like that's a much that's better way to think important. about this. Yeah. See yeah. again, ledge. And the thing is, with ledge, he can grab it and then do invincible aerials like back air that covers so much space. So I don't know. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh. Yeah, that kind of sucks. He had bad timing on that uh, on that down smash to cover the Sheik up eight. The um didn't matter though. Picked up the edge guard. I'm sorry. Oh, not like this. 
That's a classic Falco combo. Triple Three up, up tilts. tilt forward air. Yeah. <laughs> Just straight 55%. Well, it's like, it's actually extremely broken. I like get low percents, it's... Can you get out of there before, like, the second up tilt? Uh, I don't... At the very low percents, I don't think so. No. You get so. hit by at least two. Like, yeah. three, you should be able to... If you're dying from the beginning, you should be able to yeah, get out yeah, of three. Yeah. I always get hit by, like, three. It never, <laughs> never goes very well. Well, it's like one of the, the brain dead Falco combos. Stop tilt a bunch of times. Yeah, it's so sick. It's like uh, Fox up smash on Spaces and Falcon. Yep. Where you just get like four of them in a row, like guaranteed, and it does like 60%. Oh, no. Come on, man. You gotta have perfect, per perfect stalling. <laughs> it's the most important Sheik deck. This is where it becomes like almost impossible. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Nice. Right, it's my turn, I think. Don't! <laughs> 